this is, and actually maybe I shouldn't, I, I just I just led you astray. I don't think we should put it in the stats department. I think it should probably be in the, the psychology department of, of a, a university. I think football and, and quarterbacking is much more kind of in the, the, the psyche and the brain and the personality than it is the, the shoulder and the arm or the, the, the legs, because there are, I'd actually, I think most people would be surprised how many people could make the throws that you need to make to be a borderline mediocre, effective college quarterback. I'm not saying there's millions, but I'm saying there's a lot of backup quarterbacks. There's a lot of division two quarterbacks with arms strong enough to make the throws. It comes down to, can you do it when the lights are brightest? Can you do it under pressure? Can you do it when you know you're going to get hit? Can you do it when when the read is a 50-50 read and you have to commit? Grayson McCall, the, the quarterback of NC State, we know he can make the throws. We've been saying that since the preseason. You can physically watch it on film. Right? He, he did enough good things at Coastal Carolina before transferring to state this year that you can go watch and say, like, all right, he can throw the out, he can throw the dig, he can throw the, the deep ball. He can. The question is, why isn't he doing it now? Why isn't he doing it uh, at a level high enough through the first two games against Western Carolina and Tennessee, which, by the way, couldn't have two more different opponents? He is the guy moving forward. That much was confirmed uh, by Dave Doran, who spoke to the media, I believe, yesterday. Uh, and, and this clip is him reinforcing Grayson McCall as their guy at quarterback. We feel great about Grayson, you know. And uh, he's a really good player. He's a good leader. He's hard on himself. He was motivated to play better. Uh, he owns everything that he can do. And he's devout about going about his business the right way, um, respecting his teammates, doing his job. And so things didn't go his way the other night. You know, there's definitely plays he wishes he had back. We can protect better for him as well. But uh, I'm excited about Grayson McCall. He's our guy, and uh, he's going to rebound rebound well. So he's your guy. There's no doubt about it. He's going to rebound well. The next question becomes how. How do you write whatever is is wrong? He's better than he's showing on his field. And by the way, that's probably haunting him right now. Oh, for sure. There is nothing worse than walking off a field going, I know I'm better than that. It's like, I've been successful for the last four and a half years of college football. When well, What happened? You're watching film and you're like, why in the heck did I do that? Quarterback is a funny position. And, and I, I said this yesterday, but I want to go into it a bit further. Grayson McCall reminds me of a professional athlete that gets a big contract and suddenly that, that pressure sits on their chest, right? Suffocates them a little bit. And, and it goes back to, to something. Now, this is, this is more of a, like a jokey analogy, but I think it gets the point across that the, gets the point across that I'm trying to make, um, the mullet thing, right? He's got the mullet, but remember when he showed up at NC State, he cut the mullet. He had a mullet. It's it's a, I'm sure a conversation piece shows some of his personality. Maybe it's a joke, but he had the mullet at Coastal Carolina. He showed up at NC State, and and it was one of the stories of his appearance at ACC kickoff was he had cut the mullet, and everybody else was like, "What are you doing? Grow it back!" So he was in the process of growing it out. That is the 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 quarterback that is trying to play a part and I don't like quarterbacks that are trying to play a part I like quarterbacks that are themselves and they happen to be really good at quarterback you know and, and again this is one of those oxymorons but but I'll, I'll try to explain it a little bit more you need to simultaneously care more and work harder than everyone else on the team and have a healthy amount of bleep it and, and I believe he has the caring and the hard work or else, I mean, Dave Doran is not endorsing anyone like that. That isn't grinding and putting in all the effort to like you, you, the, uh, that we know about, about Dave Doran. So I think the caring, the, the leading, the hard work, he has that now he needs a healthy amount of bleep it. And when I say bleep it, what I, what I mean is you, you do all the prep, 
you get ready, you study the film. Once you decide to to make a throw, there's a, there's a bit of, I'm going to just let this thing fly, and I'm going to deal with whatever the results are. And and it, it feels ridiculous, but it, it it really is like a – actually, no, here's the best way to put it. We've all seen the meme. The meme of uh, – I'll pick an example. Um, Joe Burrow, it's a picture of him, just guy in his face, and it looks like he's throwing a javelin. He's reaching so far back to chuck this ball up, right? Mm-hmm. And, and then the caption just says, bleep it, Jamar Chase is down there somewhere. And and yeah. it's like a joke on how you know how good that receiver is or whatever whatever you see it with Matthew Stafford back there in the Calvin Johnson days like bleep it uh, Calvin Johnson's down there somewhere that's not a hundred percent a joke once you decide to make the throw once your brain says that's the read we're going to and it could be something as simple as that's my best guy mm-hmm. and and I think he's better than the defense on him you have to be so fully committed to that throw. And that's that's the thing I'm missing from Grayson McCall. He's making the decision, all right, here's where I want to throw it. And then it's becoming uh not a fully committed throw. It's and that's how you end up with, you know, the ball tailing off at the end, falling off the table as they call it, a little behind on a crossing route, a little short on a deep ball, a little too much touch rather than a driven ball. You know what you're like. There's no point in in hesitating. Every throw. I'm I'm using a million analogies here, but it's because it's psychology, right? You get. I I can't put anybody in a in a quarterback's mind. Every throw is jumping off a cliff. Every single one. And if if anyone has ever jumped off the high dive, if you've ever jumped off, you know, the high rock at the 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 lake or you've been on a tropical vacation and there's the one spot in the tide pool that you 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 jump off, uh you know what the advice is, right? Once you decide to go, go. You got to get at least, you know, 6 feet away from the the, the rock ledge. You got to you got to jump. If you jump and hesitate and then you try to stop and you just tumble in, you're going to hit your head on the way down. So whatever you do, go. That's every throw. Once you decide, you have to to go for it, and and Grayson's hesitating, and we haven't seen that in the past. So, so you start to ask why. Maybe it's the expectations. Maybe there is some money pressure, right? Because we assume there was a nice NIL deal that that came with becoming uh, NC State's quarterback out of the transfer portal. Maybe it's eyeballs. Maybe it's you know, oh my goodness, this is the ACC. Oh my goodness, that's Tennessee. Oh my goodness, this field isn't teal like it was back at Coastal. Have some fun. Let it rip.